Maybe hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. But then I thought since I uh, was going to grab my camera, I'd also make a point and show how to properly get a bike on its center stand. A lot of people really struggle with this. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and model how it's best to get a bike up on its center stand. What you want to do when you push down on this is you want to basically have the bike where it's completely on both feet. So depending on if you're perfectly on level ground or what that may look like, where people get into trouble is they're like this and then they start yanking on the handlebars and they can really make it you know uncomfortable or awkward to get back on there. If you're grabbing onto the bike, make sure you're not grabbing onto any plastic or anything like that. But let me get the camera move so you can actually see my body language on how I do this as well. So once again, I get this flat footed. You'll notice that when I have it in the right spot, I can actually let go of the bike. It's completely stable. If I'm a little bit this way, the bike's unstable, right? Or if I'm a little bit this way and then trying to jerk on it, the bike just wants to fall over either way. But you'll notice here that when I step on it, firm and have both feet planted the bike's really stable it's not it's not going anywhere now we got to decide what do we have to to grab onto i don't want to grab onto a seat strap i could break that if i lose control that way the bike's going over i want to look for some type of frame piece some foot peg or something that i can grab onto or some bikes that's simple enough to uh grab onto the handlebars for me that's not as comfortable i'm going to go here it isn't going to take much i'm not doing a lot of strength pulling with this hand. It's more just some stability. The bike's resting against me, but I'm really gonna pull here and I'm gonna push down with my foot on that center stand and put all my effort into that and then basically snap it over. So that was a really comfortable, confident way to go about that. All right, my friends, there you have it. Just a couple of quick tips to uh, make your life, uh, life easier, make your bike safer, and make it all uh, more enjoyable. I've uh, done a couple of videos on this bike recently. You might want to check them all out. If you're not a subscriber, you can check out all the most uh, recent videos. And especially if you have CBR 500R, you're going to dig them. Anyway, as always, make sure and like, share, subscribe. Join the channel if you, if you can to support us. Make it a great day. And as always, keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real uh, explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to uh, help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're gonna get access to member-only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth uh, Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member, channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and uh getting those answers to the questions we need i mean you, you gotta remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that i'm trying to do so we, we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this of a community that is, is more attentive. So we wanna be more relationship focused. That's a big thing of the memberships. The other thing is, uh, YouTube does this, I think it's kind of funny, but uh, we're doing the emojis. So if you're a new member, it's gonna be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like uh, training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, uh, silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your you know top certified. But we added one more. We added a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while. So for all you that love that kind of stuff, hey, it's there for you. Um, 
what else are you gonna get with this? What you're gonna get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job, like I do this and have always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. Uh, as I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. We got a building, insurance, uh, you know, it, we got everything. So uh, it costs a lot to be able to do all this. And we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. I hope you thought, man, that's really a great idea. Uh, look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you and what attracts you. It's a great way to get some uh, discounts on merchandise as well too. But hey, we are going to get back at it. We're super excited about this. We're just already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So those, those videos we were just talking about. But my friends, whatever you're doing, be safe. We know 2020 has been a crazy year out there. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.